Building your own PLC trainer can save you some money if done right and leave you with an expensive pile of parts if done wrong. We sell PLC trainers and we'd love for you to have a look at them. However, if you're going to build a homemade trainer, then I want you to build one that will make you the best technician possible. <laughs> Get a real PLC. No Raspberry Pis and no Arduinos. Those don't prepare you for real world applications. And realistically, by the time you actually take their lightweight IO and put isolators and relays and everything in between, you're gonna have more money in that than you are in a PLC. Do not wire to a black box, never to be touched again. You're gonna by far have more trouble with wiring than programming out in the field. Make it an ugly mess that you can be proud of. Minimize your use of 120 volt circuits. You're using this to learn. And with learning usually comes mistakes, including shorting things out. And you're gonna be a lot safer shorting out 24 volt than you are 120 volt. Also, most modern control systems are gonna have 24 volt DC control. So that's gonna put you a step ahead if you stick with that. My goodness, quit mounting your components on wood. You're learning about controls, which means you're likely to let some magic smoke out. And that's as crazy as baking cookies in an oak tree. Get you a piece of steel or aluminum. Now before you start gathering parts, have a look at our PLC trainers. You're not going to save a ton of money by building your own trainer and that also funds the making of our how-to videos. Here's a playlist highlighting some of our free PLC lessons.